Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to show you how to descale an electric kettle. So this is Amazon Basics electric kettle I just did a review on, but you may notice at the bottom of your electrical kettle, I'm already starting to see some white deposits. That's hard water calcium deposits, and that will affect your, how fast your kettle heats up. It could affect the taste of your water. So I'm gonna show you how to descale. We're gonna get that out of there. So we're gonna start off with some white vinegar. I'm using distilled white vinegar. You can use just regular white vinegar. And it does help if you have a little brush. Towards the end, we're just gonna brush it. It kind of knocks some of that uh, calcium off. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna add pure vinegar up to the 0.5 liter mark. So if this is another type of kettle, just fill it up half with vinegar and the other half with just tap water right out of your sink. So just do 50-50 uh, solution. You can see I've got it filled up to the halfway mark with just pure vinegar. Now I'm gonna take this over to the sink and fill it up to the one liter, the max mark, with water. Okay, so I've got it filled up, 50% solution, 50% water. And now we're gonna let it sit for an hour. If you've got a lot of hard water deposits, you may wanna let it sit for up to three hours. You're not gonna turn it on, it's just gonna sit. That vinegar will break loose that calcium and hard water deposits just by sitting there. You don't have to heat it up. We are gonna heat it up for the cleaning process. Okay, so it's been about an hour. Mine wasn't really bad, but it does help if you get a brush and make sure it's a soft bristle brush. Just kind of go down in there. It'll help break loose some of that uh, hard water deposits, kind of clean your screen. This is a great time to do that. Okay, so again, the, we never heated this up. We don't heat the vinegar and water up. Now I'm just gonna take this over to the sink. I'm gonna dump it out, fill it up with fresh water. Again, use that brush to kind of clean it out. So rinse that out several times before you fill it up for the last time and bring it over here and we're gonna heat it up. Okay, so when you're over at the sink, make sure you don't get any water uh, in this part. That's where the electricity goes. So be careful when you're filling it up and when you're rinsing it, just make sure the water kind of gets in this area. You don't want the water to get around the switch. So I've cleaned it out. Uh, I've got all the vinegar and water out. Now it's just got fresh water in there. So we're just gonna do a cleaning now. We're gonna heat this water up but we're gonna throw that water out. Again, be careful with kettles. When they heat the water up, the outsides of them get pretty hot. So we're gonna, we're gonna do that process. I like to do it twice. So once it heats that water up, I'm gonna throw it out. Be careful, it's really hot. Fill it up with uh, water again, heat it up, and then throw that water out. Then you should be good to go. You should have all of the taste of the vinegar out. If you can still taste the vinegar, you may not have all the hard water deposits out of the kettle. Repeat the process of using the, the vinegar and then do maybe two or three more additional rinses. I hope this video helps. I normally just go off of, I look at the bottom of my kettle and I can kind of see the hard water deposits. And when they're getting really bad, that's when I descale it. For me, that's usually about three to seven months, depending on how much I use my kettle. I don't use my electric kettles all the time, but when I am using them, um, I don't have really hard water, so it doesn't build up too bad. And again, you can use these procedures for any electric kettle, a plastic one or a, this is a stainless steel one. Thanks everybody for watching.